That the election is over, many are wondering what's next for Democrats. And as our John Keller explains, some are pointing to a familiar face here in Massachusetts as the party's next leader. Good morning. We know our country will soon have a new leader, but one of the many questions popping up in the wake of this election is who will be the new leader of the Democratic Party? The, the two congressional the minority leader, leaders, Nancy Pelosi tomorrow. and Chuck yeah. Schumer, will have major platforms. Right. I suspect you'll be hearing quite a bit from Bernie Sanders, too. But plenty of people think our very own Senator Elizabeth Warren is now more than ever one of the party's most important voices. So it was very interesting to me that she chose to skip the usual pleasantries in her first speech since election night and instead threw down a challenge to President-elect Trump and the D.C. establishment. Warren praised Trump for criticizing Wall Street and big money corruption in Washington, trade deals, and the establishment's failure to deal with soaring college and child care costs. It was striking how much the broad Trump political critique matches that of Warren and Sanders. Quote, the deep worry that people feel over an America that does not work for them is not liberal or conservative worry, she said. But then, Warren issued a blunt warning to the incoming president that if he guts financial industry regulations, tries to deport millions of illegal immigrants, destroys Obamacare, and offers tax breaks that help the rich, she will fight him, quote, every step of the way. It won't take long for Trump to make clear which parts of his campaign rhetoric were serious and which were not. Warren has now made it clear that any Trump honeymoon is likely to be extremely short. Your comments are invited via email at keller at wbctv.com or on Twitter at Keller at Large.